guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my update for my Bob series. This is a series that I'm calling Beauties on a Budget, so the Bob series, and funny enough, I also call my cat Bob. He is the kitty Bob, and he usually makes his appearances in these videos and in many of my other videos <laughs> on my channel if you've been watching me for a while. And if you are new here, hi, I am Callie. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I know that I've been gaining a few subscribers lately, so thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I have a super big giveaway coming at 1,000 subscribers, so if we can ever make it there, that would be amazing. I'm so excited to give back to you. But I do have a couple little tiny giveaways here and there in my videos, so I'm not going to post them on the description bar of my videos because I just want you guys to just watch and enjoy. If you happen to hear about a giveaway in a video, please make sure that you enter the giveaway because I have a couple little like surprise ones coming up in future videos. Unfortunately, I don't have one today, but I do have one coming up this week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But the two lovely ladies that are joining me on this Bob series project are Rachel Winters here on YouTube. I will definitely make sure to link her channel down below and her playlist for this series. It's been so much fun hearing her purchases and habits and stuff like that because it seems like in the makeup world we're very very similar. <laughs> and then also Stacy from Instagram is also doing this. She has a nice little spreadsheet of how much she spent each month and how much she used up so I also copied that spreadsheet. Thank you Stacy, for that fantastic idea but I will always link her Instagram down below in these channels as well. She's got a great Instagram as well. I love both these ladies and it's been so much fun working with them. But we are going to do the April Bob series update. So I have been doing really, really good on my no buy. As you guys know, after the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I went on a no buy. I did not purchase anything from the, what is it, the 15% off VIB sale. I wanted to so many times, and I really wanted that Marc Jacobs bronzer, that Tantastic Omega bronzer. I really, really wanted it, and my girlfriend at work got it, and she freaking loves it, and I'm really mad that I didn't get it. <sighs> Anyways, I'm not going to get it. It's not even on sale right now. And then Marc Jacobs was having a sale for 20% off and I had it in my cart and I was like, no, I'm going to wait a day. And I waited a day and it was sold out, of course. So that just tells me that it's like meant to be that I'm not supposed to have it right now because I'm on a no buy, you guys. But it is the beginning of May. I haven't been doing as good this month because I'll tell you about it when May's update comes. Anyways, this is for April. So, so far, I will tell you my beauty purchases for April were all three of my subscription boxes. You guys know I get BoxyCharm, Sephora Play, and Ipsy, so I got all three of those boxes. And also, ColourPop was having a 20% off sale, I think it was, like on all their lips, and then some shadows, and then some other items in their collection. So my girlfriends were ordering, at work and I was like, you know what? There are a few things that I really, really want. I've really been wanting to try the Ultra Blotted Lips from ColourPop. I have not yet picked any of those up, so I did pick up one of those and the price of that was $4.20. So I got one of those and I got the shade Zuma. Can I find it anywhere? No, I cannot. It is somewhere. I don't know where probably in a pocket because I wore it a couple times. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's such a cool lip product. I really enjoy it. And um, one of my girlfriends from work, she says that she wears them when she goes up to the OR because the mask on your face, it like doesn't smudge all over your lips and look crazy, you know? So that's what I've been doing and I've been really, really enjoying it and it works really well. Anyways, the other thing that I got from ColourPop's sale was a single shadow and I got the shade Chauffeur. Unfortunately, I did not know, <laughs> dang it, I did not know the shade was in the Yes Please palette because I haven't really delved, dove, I haven't really gotten into the Yes Please palette very much. And I was watching, I think Courtney K's video, something, I was watching somebody's video on their Yes Please palette, they were like panning it or something, and they were like, oh, and I use Chauffeur, and I'm like, hmm. 
that sucks because I just bought a single of it and yes I did swatch it so I am going to keep that single though I really do like it and I think it'll be a good addition to my Z palettes for all my singles and I mostly have Coastal Sense shadows in there so I'm really excited to have some color pop shades as well so those were the only two beauty items, makeup items, lotions, body sprays, anything. I literally did not buy anything except for those two items from ColourPop. I am so proud of myself because I was very close. I actually even went to Sephora. I will tell you something I picked up from Sephora. I did pick up something from Sephora, but it was not during the 15% off sale. I actually picked up a fragrance kit last winter. I don't even think I showed it on this channel. But I did pick that one up and it had like a scent redeeming thing that you could redeem for a full size scent. And I ended up getting Toca Florence. I love this scent so much. Like before I redeemed that, I actually went in store and I was like, you know what? I'm thinking about getting Toca Florence. Can I please have another sample of that? And she's like, yeah, no problem. So she gave me like this teeny tiny little sample, which was good enough. You know, it was enough for me to like it. I freaking love this so much it's like the best spring scent ever and the bottle not only is the packaging beautiful like look at that packaging how freaking beautiful is that and then look at this little engraving it says love yourself i just think little touches like that on packaging just makes me not want to throw away this box i'm going to oh, i'm going to recycle it i'm going to but i don't want to but here is the perfume here. It is just gorgeous and so luxurious looking. I just love this thing. And the cap on this is so heavy. Like, it's heavy. Like, it's a weighted cap. And this is a weighted bottle as well. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. So this is what I redeemed for my free scent certificate thing. And I'm so glad I did. This is my favorite scent right now. I know I got quite a few perfumes previously, but this is literally my favorite thing. So this is another thing that I wanted to show you guys that I did get in the month of April. I did not purchase this though. It was previously purchased last winter during the 20% off sale. Oh my God, it is so freaking fantastic. If you guys are looking into a fragrance for the spring and summer months, I definitely recommend checking out Toca Florence. Very, very good. It's very pear scented and I love pear. And you know, pear is a natural aphrodisiac. So just throwing it out there. Anyways, minus the fact of what I just said, I love this fragrance so much. It smells fantastic. So the total beauty purchases that I had for the month of April was $49.80. Like I said, the subscription boxes were $41.60 and then the ColourPop eyeshadow was only $4 and the Ultra Blotted Lip was $4.20. She did tell me just to give her four bucks back. It wasn't a big deal about the 20 cents, but I still put that on here because that's what I would have paid if I would have purchased it myself. So I think I did really, really good this month. I really held myself back from many, and I mean many purchases that I was very close to making. It was close, many times. Anyway, so the empties that I had for this month, you guys can check out my previous video with the empties, but I will tell you my total. So my total empties for the month of April was $88.68. So I actually was in the green this month. I'm so happy. I finally am in the green for my spending versus my using. And I'm in the green by like half. I know that using up $88 is really not a lot when you look at some of my other usage of products, but I'm really, really happy about it. And I'm not going to even let anybody bring me down because I think I did good this month. I held myself back. I didn't let myself purchase any new things. And I'm really happy I did because I really didn't need anything. I've just been enjoying what I've been using and I've been going through my products and really trying to find out what I love, what I don't love. And, you know, I gave away a bunch of items to my friends at work and some of my other girlfriends and it feels really good. And I did all that this month in April and I felt really good giving away things that I knew I wasn't going to use. And they were all so thankful for them and it's really nice 
to get people or to give people things that you're not going to use anymore in your collection but they're going to love in their collection or maybe they needed something in their collection and you just happen to have it that you weren't using it. It feels really good. So all in all, I do feel like this Bob series is becoming very successful for me, especially in realizing how much I'm spending. Like the first quarter of the year, January, February, and March, I feel like I kind of had to get like a realization of like how much I was really spending versus what I'm actually using up because I'm not even really using up makeup products. I'm using up hair care and skin care and shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that. I'm not even really using up makeup. So I have so many things in my collection that I really just like to rotate things because I don't want things to go away if I really like it. You know what I mean. I really hope you guys go and check out Rachel Winters here on YouTube. She does a lot of similar videos as me and I think you guys would love her channel and she got an, ama an amazing ring light so her lighting is just like on point now which is so nice and she's been doing a lot of colorful looks as well and then Stacy just like kills it with empties like all the time on Instagram like I see her feed and I'm like seriously like how do you use up this many products I don't understand so they are both just fantastic. I totally recommend you guys checking them out and stick with me on this Bob series. I know I haven't been as consistent with it and I will tell you coming up in May I have made a few purchases but I do think I'm doing really well again with my spending. I haven't been going into Ulta or Sephora. I haven't been going online to those sites at all. I've just been kind of avoiding everything because I don't want to spend on things that I don't need. So I've really been enjoying this series and I hope you guys have been too. And if you're keeping with it with me, let me know how you did on your no buy this month. And I would love to chat with you guys in the comment section below. But until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!